In this lecture, we will be talking about the structural columns. To follow with me, you have to open ex11. In this file, we have the grids drawn. You go to the second floor. I prefer to draw the columns from the second floor, not from the first floor. The structural columns are there in the tab structure column. That's the structural column. Start by checking. Uh, you are drawing vertical column, not slanted. Uh, the second thing is to check the option bar. Uh, now we are drawing our column from the second floor. We need it to go to the entry level. So we must choose from here depth, not height, because we are going down. And choose the level where we need our column to go to. I check entry level. And here we need to choose the type of the column. As you see, all the types are by inch. Uh, that's one of the columns that I need. So I'll go to load family and as you see this place we we talked about in the introduction us metric i go down to structural columns here all the families are classified uh, by its uh, category that's structural columns inside i find another classification by material i choose uh, concrete and from it i choose m concrete rectangular column click open now i have types of M concrete rectangular column here in the type selector I'll choose for example 400 by 600 but that that's not the column that I need uh, I need a column uh, which has dimension 200 by 600 millimeter so I'll select any type of this then go to edit type click duplicate and write 200 times 600 millimeter click ok here i write 0.2 meter and h 0.6 meter now as you see here i'm holding the column and i can put it in whatever the place i need i go i can go here and just one click I put the call. If I need to get out of this order, I click escape. Another escape to get out of the column order. Okay. The first escape is for the placement and the second is for the tool of the column. But this column must be a round column, not rectangular column. I need to change it. So I'll select it and go here. I'll select whatever uh, the column from here, for example, 24 inches. Then I'll click edit type, duplicate, and I'll call it 500 millimeter. That means that the diameter will be 500 millimeter. And here I write 0.5 meter. Now I have my concrete round column with the diameter 500 millimeter. If I need to put the other columns, I'll go back to the structural column tool. But now I will I will not put the columns one by one. I'll select the type. Then I'll click Add Grids. When I click on Add Grids, it gives me the ability to put the columns at the intersection of the grids that I will select. I can select all the grids here. That means that I'll put a column at every intersection for the grids. After selecting the grids, I must click finish to put the columns. Now I have columns at all the intersection of the grids. If you need to delete, to, to delete one column like this, just select it and press delete or delete from here. Now, if we go to the 3D view that's here or go to it from here, this icon, now you have all this column drawn in the 3D. If I need to repeat these columns in the other floors, I can select them all. Then from the tab modify, I'll click copy to clipboard. It's different from this copy. It's here in the clipboard panel. Copy to clipboard, then paste aligned to selected levels, and then I'll select the roof and third floor. And now I have my columns 
COVID upwards. And that's for this lesson.